So Terry, I think as a new ventriloquist, um, there are so many things that I have to learn. But without a doubt, one of the toughest things that Wyatt and I and all my other puppet characters have has got to be the B. The, the B sound is one of the most difficult sounds for me. What is, how did you practice for the B? You know, uh, what I did was I would record myself, and now that you, everybody has a phone, they can do this with their phones, uh, get the audio recording, and then uh, just kind of do, you experiment uh, with different ways to say it. But my technique is this, and so for any uh, aspiring ventriloquists out there, uh, for B's, M's, P's, everything, all the hard letters, um, including F's and V's, because you know, so you have to have yeah, your lips to say those too. Yeah. Uh, I put the tip of my tongue against the back of my the, uh, my front teeth at the top of it. So at the top, so and then you just learn uh, with a lot of practice. It does take a lot of practice. It does. You notice it did, that it sounded like practice. It didn't sound like right. Practice, no, right. right. Exactly. And, I, and what I did was, <laughs> if I say the boy bought a basketball, see, I was putting the tip of my tongue against the back of my front teeth. You don't have teeth. All right. No, but that's what you do. I'm going to try you, that. What did yeah, you say? So the, you the, say boy... The, the boy bought a basketball. So what you'll do is. You'll, now, and it's and again, it's it's finesse and technique. It's just like learning anything. The more you practice, the better you'll get. But the tip of your tongue goes against the back of your front teeth, the top front teeth, and you'll say the boy thought a basketball instead of because if you put the tip of your tongue against the roof of your mouth, it comes out like a D. Mm -hmm. So it'll sound yeah. like the doy dot a basketball. Same thing with which is pretty much how I sound like even without a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with peas though. Like the peas, if you said teeter tighter tick 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 tickle teters. Oh, uh, that's another. Or nightmare. you can, or but if you use that, but again, it's it takes finesse. It's so you say Peter tighter pick a peck of pickled peppers. So and you just yeah, take that. In my that's, life, that's but, gonna happen. <laughs> Hey man, it just took Terry about 25 years to learn how to do that. Uh, okay, right. so, uh, uh, so, okay, so then I'm going to try the basketball one. How does it go? What is, what is the phrase? The boy thought of basketball. All right, here we go. <laughs> this guy. The boy bought a basketball. That's good. That sounded a lot more like a bee. Yes, bit, a little. That, was yes, that okay. Yes, and and one of the techniques to learn how to uh, keep your mouth from moving is to uh, take a pen or a pencil, put it in your in your uh, tooth, and then you, it'll keep. That's how I did that for a couple of years when I was practicing. I didn't obviously on stage, but when I was practicing, I would put a pen, and that would help the, me to learn to keep my jaw straight, so that I was not. And, and you know, and, and if it's easier for you, it's it's fine to go ahead and smile. A lot of people do that. I, I don't. I try to keep a natural look on my face. Yeah, I, because I, then it looks. Yeah, then it, then it, we we look a lot more realistic. Well, when we do our homework on YouTube and stuff, I look at you and I look at Jeff Dunham and I look at, at, at Darcy Lynn and stuff, and I know that I have a lot of work <laughs> because like I'm 56 years old and you know I'm just starting. But, but the, uh, you see, it's, I'm just. I but get you know, I was, and I get I was in my fifties when I started learning how to sing like Hawaiian songs. So anything, I guess anything, anything is, possible. is possible. And I learned how to sing Hawaiian songs, and, and I was in my fifties when I started, or in my late forties. So you know, it's uh, you. Anyone who wants to do something, but it, it does take work and, and practice and uh, finesse. You know, you'll learn how to do that. And another thing is when you uh, puppeteering. Notice that Winston, and I, this is just from years and years. But when you're talking, he's looking at you. When he's talking, he's looking at him. When I'm talking, he looks at me. So it's just you want to make, keep that puppet engaged. Now uh, you'll have to. It's hard to separate your mind and think about it. Now I don't even think about it because as long as I'm having a conversation, he will always look at you when you're talking, or always, you know. So he's he's engaging in everything, um, and and that's just something that about puppeteering. Yeah, it, it makes us look more real. Right. Well, I gotta tell you, I've been practicing in my car, and when I practice in my car with the hand without the puppet, people are looking at me like, oh, this guy, I'm gonna give like four car pace behind. But that's sideways. A, you know, that's a good point though, because uh, that's a good place to practice. I, that's how I learned a lot of my stuff uh, technique was listening to the car radio and singing without moving my lips. So I would learn how to, or just you know, I would keep the radio off and I would be saying the boy bought a basketball and Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers without moving my lips thousands of times. See, the only thing that I know that I can say halfway decent is. Peanut butter and jelly. There you go. That's Peanut good. butter and jelly. How oh, that is my favorite. That sounded very good. I like it. So, well, thank you so much, Terry, and You're thank welcome. you, Winston. Thanks, Winston. It was so cool. I'm here with Winston. Oh my God, I'm like a fanboy. Fanboy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Aloha. Security. <laughs>